very interesting topic called as the five tips on how to concentrate better while reading. Yes, this is a very interesting topic for me because trust me, I have seen many people facing this challenge and this is something which I really want to make sure many people benefit. Tell me very honestly, do you find it hard to concentrate when it comes to reading? Have you come across a situation where you're reading the first paragraph, the second paragraph, you come to the end, turn the page and then you go blank and you ask this question, what was I reading? Have you come across that situation? Let's be more honest. The more we are honest, the more we make progress. So here's the first tip before I show to you. I'll tell you one thing. It sounds stupid initially and later when you apply it, you'll start to like it. Yes, that's how the first tool which I want to reveal to you on how do you concentrate better and that says smile yes smile at the book smile at the PDF smile at the pages yes you might feel it's crazy it's stupid I told you right hold on with me yes it feels stupid but it's okay because smile is contagious when you see a child smiling what, what happens you smile when you see anyone smiling, you automatically smile. And that is so powerful. Because you know why? Smile helps you to approach the person, that object, much better. Yes. Now you might be thinking, okay, that applies for human beings. That applies for a pet, a dog or cat. But what about an object like a book? Let me give you an example. When you see your favorite car, How's your reaction? Wow! What's happening over here? You're smiling. You ladies, when you see your favorite dress from a designer or wherever you go for shopping, it's like, wow! You immediately build up that connection with that object. The object doesn't have a smile, but with your smile, you feel more connected. And that's what I want you to develop. The first thing in order to concentrate better. The connection is the most important thing. You know, I've seen a lot of people come up to me and say, reading is really boring. I understand. You know, for most people, reading is like raw, dry sub subject, a dry object, something like the old radio station, the Doodarshan one, okay? It's like people had to forcefully listen. They knew it was good information, but it was really boring. And for many people, who really do not like to read books is something like that. Reading is a pain. It's a hard task. And for those people, trust me, adopt the first tool, smile. Once you smile, looking at that book and read one sentence, you start to feel good. Trust me in that. I have applied this technique for many of my students. This whole year we have applied it for more than 100 students. And everyone has got results. You too will get results. It's only about application. Yes. When you smile, right now I can't see you. I'm seeing this mobile phone. And when I'm smiling, I'm feeling more connected with this. That's how it is, guys. You feel more connected. Once the connection is built up, magic happens. Yeah. All right, let me go to the next tool. It's a powerful statement right now. It's the focus statement. Yes, that's number two is focus statement. But before I reveal to you the focus statement, let me give you an example. Imagine, imagine you're going for shopping and you went to a sh store, you bought a shirt, anything what you like, and then you went to the cashier. You took your credit card, you swiped your card, and then you started a conversation with the cashier. You had a pleasant talk, and then after a few minutes of conversing, you just walked out forgetting to pick up that shirt which you just bought. And you arms and walk out. After a few minutes, the salesperson sees that shirt and comes out hurrying and starts yelling at you. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. He's loud, 
other people are noticing him. They're reacting. But guess what? You do not respond. You do not react for that call. And immediately the manager comes out. He takes the receipt, sees your name and calls out your name. But guess what happens? You immediately turn to that call. Now tell me what happened. Before when the salesperson was calling out, hello sir, hello sir, you did not respond. But when your name was announced, was called out, you immediately turned. You became attentive. Go and write your comments. Why did you respond if you were put in that situation? The name grabbed your attention from wherever it was. Your mind was wandering. It grabbed your attention and then it pulled you towards that call. You became present. Isn't that true, guys? They say the sweetest name to a human ear is his or her name. Yes. A powerful way to grab people's attention is by calling their name. Now let me take this concept and apply into reading. So that you, you might be wondering why is it going into shopping and then not coming to reading. Here's where the connection I'm building up. So here's that statement which I told you. A powerful statement. Whenever you see a book, whenever you open a PDF file, whatever reading material it is, please start by saying this statement. What is this topic? It could be the topic, the title of the book, the chapter title, whatever it is. Gonna give to your name. Very, very important. Go ahead and try it out, guys. If you have a book right now, go ahead and open the book and tell, and just say the statement looking at that book. What is this topic? Whatever the topic is, the author's name is going to give to your name. If I'm saying it, it will be to Saud Mansur. Immediately you become attentive. Because Saud Mansur is an important person. And that's the reason you feel important you become more attentive. This grabs your attention and you get hooked into that book. Yes. If you just say, what is this going to give to me? Me is something like, hello, sir. Hello, sir. You don't get, feel the importance. How old you might be, how many years of experience, whatever position you might be, you kind of dilute that feeling. It's something like when you walk into a restaurant and you book the table, and the waiter comes and calls up your name. Mister, do you feel, you feel different, right? You feel like VIP. <coughs> but just calling up a name. If you just randomly walk into a restaurant and the waiter just smiles and please come in, you're like, hmm, yeah. That's the difference. Even in that microsecond, he calls your name, you're like, hmm, yeah. And you walk pretty stylish, confident a bit. Notice that. And that's what I want to apply the same thing. Because these are slight changes. We see the changes when we are going to a restaurant. We see the changes when people call out our names. Let's apply that when it comes to reading. Very, very powerful, guys. This will definitely make you more hooked up. More connection builds up. And that is the most important thing. You need to build up the connection that's when you are more focused, there is more concentration happening when you, with you and that with the book. Important one. Do you get some value over here, guys? How about the second tip, which I just shared with you? What was the second tip? What's the focus statement? All right. Here's the focus statement, guys. What is this topic? The author's name, the title of the book, whatever it is. Going to give to your name. Guys, don't worry. If you're writing down notes, don't worry. I do have a cheat sheet which I'll be providing to you right now or afterwards at the end where you can click on that and definitely grab it because I want you to be implementers. I don't want you to just listen and not do. So I make sure that it's a simple cheat sheet so you can go ahead and read it after the session and apply it. 
let's make sure we are implementers not just knowledge seekers all right good if you're getting some great value guys make sure you share this video so that more people benefit that's important let's move to the next one what is it it's called as the build urgency yes it kind of follows with the second one when you feel important when you feel like a vip person it's more like a ceo a ceo's time is more valuable isn't that true compared to another person in the company and that's what i want you to feel a very respectable a high level person and what is a high level person's time value very much important anyone comes to approach him for help they you talk very fast sir 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 this is the thing sir 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 to me sir that's how they do right and that's the kind of urgency i want you to develop once you open that book you want to make sure that within 2 minutes this document or this author better tell me some valuable stuff that is the mindset i want you to develop very powerful because when you set up that mindset you know how you feel you see yourself and the author eye to eye yes while as the rest of the people whenever they open the book they see the author a bit like this because this author is a best seller this author comes on television this author is a millionaire whatever reasons we kind of look at the author and start agreeing every point and we get overwhelmed it's something like you're seeing your colleague eye to eye what is it make is he making sense just yes, you're looking at that mindset and then if you find some value you kind of appreciate him raise him up and say yes he's good and if you don't get value you drop it off close the book and this is the way i really want you to approach it very powerful way because when you build up urgency you're important and your time has to be respected right so the author better make sure that you get great value within the first 2 minutes first 5 minutes and that is very powerful So make sure you build up urgency. That is number three is urgency, guys. The fourth point is kind of a bonus. Create the right environment. Yes. This is something which I I've just recently found out the benefit of that. Now, what do I mean by creating the right environment? I'm not telling you go ahead and clean up the room and all that. No. because we do not know at what time a document might come up to us and what where are we we have to read that sms so there's no time to read up clean up so this is not a strategy for only for books this we need to be very practical over here so that's something which uh, i found out. i have started applying this and i see myself concentrating much much better whenever i decide to read i apply a lotion in my fingers yes which has a good fragrance and i apply only i use that lotion only when it comes to reading when i'm reading trust me i get in mood to read so find out these things which will really excite you which will make you push so that you are completely hooked up into that reading that is important another thing i can give you an example is have a perfume a separate perfume it could be a citric flavor which i have tested out and i feel citric flavor gives me a lot of freshness it's not spraying onto me or on the book it's in the air just spray it out and all of a sudden you feel really fresh and use it only for reading purpose guys that's something i want you to adopt you can also few people basically have a lip balm or they have a chewing gum at the time of reading so you need to discover ways where you which will really an environment you create for yourself fast environment doesn't take time it's fast it's quick and then it helps you to be more connected that is something which i want you to adopt this is a bonus win which i really discovered out of an experiment and it was like wow and i started enjoying trust me you start to enjoy reading 
your concentration goes up, you're getting more content, more valuable information, and you feel good about yourself. Try it out, guys. So that was number four for you guys. The number five, that's the last one, is the right position. Yes, very, very much important. Now, I know you can read the book on the bed, on a comfortable sofa. You can read. But here's the challenge. When you're, wa when you're watching, wait, you can watch a movie in any position. And if you break the connection with the, the movie and yourself, just by moving here and there, guess what? It's much easier to get back into that movie. It's much easier. If you're listening to a podcast and something itching happens here and there for you, and if you're just going for a break, you come back, it's much easier to connect. Put a pause and connect. But with great honesty, I tell you, if you have a break happening with the book and with yourself, it's difficult to connect. It takes time to build up that level of concentration again. I know it's much easier to go ahead and go to YouTube and just listen. But it takes efforts to go and open the book and start reading. It takes effort to go to Kindle and read compared to watching a video or a movie. That's the reality, guys. So I want to make sure you set up the right posture so that it really helps you to utilize the complete reading time. I don't want your body behavior. Because when you're sitting in a comfortable uh, chair on a bed, what happens? Sleep attracts. You get bored. You start to yawn. And what's that happening? These are called distractions. They're eating away your reading time. If you decide that you want to read about 15 minutes or 10 minutes, and all of a sudden your mind wanders here and there because of the comfort, and you're like, oh, oh yeah, let me sleep, yeah, nice. And then you talk here and there. You hardly read for about two or three minutes out of that 10 to 15 minutes. You, most of the time people are just staring and then thinking about something else. I don't want that thing to happen. So for that purpose, make sure you have the right posture. So I want to give you a very simple one. I'm not giving you the real exact measurements, how do you want to read, but there's something you can do it. Just imagine you have an orange in your hand. Just imagine right now, if you, as you're watching, and just place it over here at the center of your head and try to imagine you're trying to balance that orange which is on your head. You know, as I just imagine, guess what happened? My head, my neck, and my back completely aligned and became straight. And that is what I want. A straight posture. And if you're reading, you can just bend like this. Little here. That's good. Often people do like this. Huh. Hmm. You know, when they are in this posture, when they're bending the chest, the intake of oxygen is low. And when you are reading, you need a lot of oxygen. And this is right. Just imagine that. Right now, do it. Imagine this. there's an orange on the center of your head. Simple. And just imagine you're balancing. Guess what? It becomes straight. Shh. These are very, very important to make sure you're in the right posture so that you do not waste your reading time. If you're sitting at 15 minutes, let's make sure that every 15 minute second time is used up for reading only, is not eaten up by distraction. Because the moment there's a break, a distraction comes in, guess what? It takes another 10, minimum 10 minutes to get back into that focus level. Why do we waste that time? Let's make sure that we use every minute into that reading and feel good about ourselves. Is that something really good, guys? We just shared with you about five tips. Let me give you a recap so that it becomes much, much easier for you. So let's go ahead and go to the first one. The first one is smile. Smile looking at that book, at that sheet of paper. And just smile and just read one line. You start to feel good. You start to appreciate it. You start to build up that wrap. Very powerful, guys. That's number one. Smile. Number two 
is the focus statement. What was the focus statement? Here it is. What is this topic going to give to your name? And you need to say, looking at that book, not to the air. Trust me, you become more attentive. You become more present at that moment. And we need to make sure that the external environment do not distract. We make sure we become important. And the third step is building urgency. Yes. Once you feel you're important, your time is valuable, the author, the document better give out that valuable information in the next two or three minutes. Or else I'm closing that book. That's the mindset. That's the approach I want you to have. And coming to the strategies, we can go further later. But right now, this is an approach you need to have so that you are more connected with that book. That's the thing. Next, create the right environment. Very simple. I use this cream. Apply it in my hands because I'm holding the book. I, I smell the fragrance. It just makes me in mood to read more. For you, you need to identify what it could be. I also used to, in the past, I used to have the fragrance, citrus flavor, orange flavor, something like, gives a lot of freshness. That's not true. Or a lip balm. Or a chewing gum. Have a very specific stuff for reading. Do not use it for every time. Don't use a fragrance when you're going for a party. Do not do that. Make it specific. All right? That's important. And the next part is the right position. Just imagine there is an orange on top of your head and you're trying to balance. And you're sitting and you're keeping the book like this and you're reading like this. You're not bending like this. And you're not, and never sleep and read. Never sit in a cozy chair and read. In a straight chair, that's good. Office chair, good one. Because what happens when you sit in a cozy chair, you are attracting laziness. You're attracting mind to wander and sleepness, sleep to come in. That is a no-no. For me, reading is an investment for my personal and my professional goal. Yes. Guys, these are the five tips which I want to share with you. These are very practical ones. They are proven ones because my clients have applied this and they've got amazing results. And to make sure that you also benefit, I do have the link available. It is called as ispeedread.in slash concentrate and you can get a cheat sheet free. Go ahead and download over here so that you can read them and it becomes much, much easier, guys. All right. If you want to move to the next level, become double your reading speed, improve your comprehension so that you can read more books in 2018, master new technologies faster. I do have an online course which is coming up, which is called the Super Reader. Make sure you go into this link and you'll get the details of that program also. But the most important thing is go here to download this right now so that you are an implementer. At the end of the day, guys, I am on a mission to make sure I break people's reading barriers and encourage them in a way they really love to read. Because I've noticed a lot of people, most professionals especially, have stopped to read books and limited to the experience. And they're stuck with the same job, same level. Just because they have to read a document like, oh my God, I'm okay with this. Unless someone comes and pushes them and, sh and gives you a shortcut. Or else they're stuck. They're okay with that. And I don't want that because you deserve more stuff. And that's how it changed my life. I was able to learn new technology faster. And all of a sudden doors opened up for me. And that's the reason I want more and more people to identify their true calling. Their true potential. That's the most important thing, guys. All right, guys. With all these tools, why am I doing this video? To make sure you have the best year ever coming up, guys. 2018 should be the best. So make sure you start applying the techniques, the tools that I just shared today, so that in 2018, it becomes much, much easier for you. Yes. So these were the tips that I just shared to you on how do you concentrate. All right, guys, thank you very much. It was great fun. I just enjoyed today's session because this was something very close for me. And these techniques I just discovered on my own. And it was like, wow, it works for me. It has worked for my clients. It will definitely work for you guys. Thank you.